What's the deal, folks? Forbes! Hey, y'all. <laughs> I am at my doctor's office. So, when I tell y'all this menstrual cycle that I got going on is crazy. Like, the pain that I have before the period even starts, okay, is excruciating. And I think I'm going to start going through the change because I'm starting to have flashes. My doctor's office building is so cute. Um, so I had to get an appointment this morning and I have a very high pain tolerance, but I had to call this morning at six something, like I need an appointment. I don't have to see my OBGYN, it can be anybody. And they had an appointment available. It was at um, eight o'clock and it was like 6.45 when I called. So I ended up getting um, Depo, which I haven't been on birth control in forever, just to kind of like manage the pain that I'm having. Um, so we want to try Depo before we go full fledged hysterectomy, which I'm not opposed to hysterectomy, because y'all know my childbirth days is over. But let me go get my prescription for my Motrin and we'll finish talking. Okay, y'all, so I'm waiting to pick up my prescription. Um, and then I have to go tomorrow and do an ultrasound to see if my fibroids have grown. Um, I had an ultrasound like two years ago and they were like the size of like, probably like this big, I had two, I tell you guys. So she wants to see if they were grown because my pain has gotten more intense. But I saw a different doctor today um, outside of my normal doctor. And so everybody else is trying to get me to do other things besides have the hysterectomy. So she asked me was I open to having the hysterectomy. Cause the, the other two doctors are like, they're so small. So we're gonna try the depo first and see what happens. And then um, if that doesn't work, then we will do the procedure so but i will talk to you guys more because they you know calling people needs and things like that for their prescription okay you guys so like i was saying um the first OBGYN that i had she didn't think it was worth me having the hysterectomy because the fibroids are so small and the procedure is invasive and i feel like as women regardless of race right we can be unheard when it comes to certain things in the medical field but then in addition to that i feel like minorities we i think i feel that we get the worst end of it and then you guys don't got work in healthcare. um so i decided at the time to switch from her to a black doctor thinking that i would get better results and the doctor that i had um prior to like she had really good bedside manner it was just that she didn't want to do the procedure and i just feel like me taking motion 800 at the capacity that i have to take it to not be in pain i have to take 800 milligrams of motion plus a thousand milligrams of tylenol together to combat my pain um and i'm taking it more than once a day and i'm not a, a medicine taker so i'm like no this is just too much I'm feeling I switched to a black doctor, right? Which her bedside manner is great too. And um, I had my annual exam back in March. And during that time, she mentioned to me about doing an ablation, which the ablation will stop the bleeding, but it won't stop the pain. And the ablation is pretty much like it um, catalyzed the um, lining of your uterus but your uterus will still shed the same way that it would when you have your menstrual cycle. Um, and then because you had that procedure that's stopping the bleeding, but it's not stopping the process or the pain, um, that shedding is just building up in your uterus, which then I will be pretty much in the same predicament as somebody that has endometriosis, which that's something that's even more painful. Um, so I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that either. So this doctor asked me about 
the hysterectomy, which is the first doctor that asked me about it. Because she asked me, like, you know, technically I'm still young and I still could have children. I'm sorry, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, so she asked me, you know, do I want to still have children? And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, give me the procedure. Hold on. So it's my, okay, so that was on my Uber. So, like I was saying, she's the first one that's like, do you want to get a hysterectomy? Even though they're small, but the pain is just crazy. And like a lot of my friends that are going through the same thing that I'm going through, it's like in the opposite. It's like they're having the same issues that I'm having and they're finding doctors that immediately wants to give them a hysterectomy. And all of my friends, they feel like that's offensive that the, that's the, the doctor's first thing. And I'm saying, I'm like, well, why can't I find these doctors that want to do a hysterectomy immediately? <laughs> I keep finding all these doctors that wants to give me treatment. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I actually started my cycle while I'm in this day one doctor's office. <laughs> but I ended up getting the depo shot, um, which I was opposed to getting depo because as a teenager, when I got depo, like I was fine with depo. I had like a lot of hair shedding with my depo as a teenager, but my hair is thick, so it wasn't, I mean, I wasn't missing, <laughs> I wasn't missing the beat. But when I had it as an adult, like the first month, I didn't have a cycle, but then the next two months, I was just bleeding nonstop and passing like really large um, clots. So I've been opposed to doing any form of birth control because I'm just like, I don't want to be bleeding all the time. But the pain is that bad. I'm like, okay, let's try the birth control. And then if that doesn't work, then we'll do the hysterectomy. So I'm not expecting anything to happen this first go round. Um, so I go back on September the 11th to get my next round. So I'm a, I wanna do a couple of rounds and see if it helps with the pain and then this could probably do for now but at some point <laughs> baby take it all take the uterus the ovaries the fallopian tubes take my titties to take it all <laughs> i'm done with it but like i said i got to go tomorrow to do um an ultrasound to see if they've grown any so that's that on that. Where's my Uber at? And then I got my Motrin. So y'all, to be a vlogger, you could have got to not give two about people looking at you because people looking at me like, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> but I will see y'all when I get home. And I'm hungry. I didn't eat enough. All I could do was take my medicine and eat a banana and keep it pushing like I'm hungry and then this building that had no air I'm like what y'all got going on <laughs> like I'm already flashing baby come on all right well let me keep an eye on my uber because and it's raining again all right bye y'all about i didn't got all the things y'all seen with the final total is and how about i still forgot to get motherfucking toilet paper 
paper towels and some wet wipes. And I'm on my last, I think I'm on my last two rows of toilet paper. So I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna just do an Amazon thing so I can get that because <laughs> ain't no way I'm get back in the line. Okay, bro, you're gonna have to start arresting some people. They want to let us out of here. Good morning, y'all. Today is Monday, June 26th. So, I haven't picked up the vlog since Friday. So, you guys are gonna get ready with me for work. And I'm not gonna do my full face with you guys because I've done a couple makeup tutorials. But I'm going to chit chat with you guys for a little bit as I do my makeup. And then you guys will see what I'm going to wear, which is super muggy outside. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to wear. I did get my H&M stuff. These are a pair of the earrings that I got from H&M. These are super cute. So I think I want to wear these. I'm about to put these on so I can kind of get a feel for them. And then most of my H&M stuff, I'm not even going to hold y'all. It's a fail. <laughs> it's a fail. One, one of the shirts that I got, H&M sent me a medium. And I'm like, I know I ain't picking no medium in this shirt. So I had to go look at my order and I ordered an extra large. They sent me a medium. Then a pair of the pants that I got, it told me to go up. So I got a 20. And they're still like a little tight. Um in my midsection so I don't know and then the little short trench that I got I'm not feeling I'm not feeling the material trench coats have like a, a coating on them but this one feels more like the coating that would be like on a rain jacket kind of like and the cut of it just doesn't fit my body type so that will probably go back the only thing that ended up working out of that um order I already did my skin prep. I'm about to put on my milk and magnesia because it is hot today. It is hot and muggy. Um, yeah, so the only thing that ended up working is, of course, the gray blazer that I picked out with the matching suit vest. Um, it's too small. And what else? I end up getting the black dress that's like um the green caftan dress um but yeah most of that stuff is a fail i'm gonna still show it to you guys but half of it's going back um so and my banana republic jumpsuit came today which is what i'm thinking about wearing but I don't know it's lightweight and it's that time of the month for me and i'm really not gonna be outside like it's gonna be me getting in the car and going to work getting out the car going into the office so i don't know but it's it's really humid outside but to give you guys an update on the depo shot like i, I feel like myself again let me adjust this just a little bit okay i feel like myself again and if you guys remember in one of my vlogs not too long ago i was talking about how well i need to let my brows dry some more i was talking about how um i just didn't feel like me and i couldn't really pinpoint what it is and my good sis simone from simone beauty tv was talking about perimenopause in one of her vlogs a while ago and at the time when she was naming some of the symptoms that she was experiencing i was like i kind of have some of that but it wasn't like at the point where hers were was but i just you know was looking things up and things like that but then right around the time that i went on leave is when I really start not feeling like me. Like, it was days where I would just lay in bed all day or lay on the couch all day. Um, 
and I felt depressed, but I wasn't claiming depression because it's nothing I'm really depressed about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have nothing going on physically in the present for me to be like, for me to pinpoint like, this is depression. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on with me? Like, I just didn't know what was going on with me. And even when it came down to going to work, it was just like, I do not want to go to this goddamn job. And y'all know I only go in the office one day a week. So it was really just me going to my dining room table. <laughs> um, and I was just like, I'm, I'm not feeling this. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I just knew that this wasn't me. Like I've never felt like this before. And so I'm just like, what the hell is going on with me? This is why I don't do my skincare first. Cause I be feeling like my brows don't, well they come out right, but it's just like I got to struggle a little bit because <laughs> my skin is not dry. So I gotta apply a little bit more pressure. So yeah, it was like, what's going on with me? Like I don't understand what's happening you know what i'm saying and my mom and my sister like when it comes to stuff like this like they're not the best people to talk to and it's like my sister is just like tasha you just need to you just need to um do this and you just need to do that and i'm saying like it's something going on with me you know what i'm saying like i can't even tell you what the fuck is going on with me you know what i'm saying and the stuff that I'm saying to them, you know what I'm saying? Like, clearly it sounds like I'm depressed about something. But you guys know, in black, <laughs> in the black community, mental health, even though a lot of people are seeking therapy in, you know, in our community, you know that there's still a lot of people that don't believe in mental health period that something could be wrong with you or imbalance or believe in therapy so it's just like girl just go on and do what you gotta do you know what i'm saying and i'm just saying like if i was to have a nervous breakdown which i was telling my sister i was like i feel like i'm about to have a nervous breakdown and that's literally how i felt like i felt like i was about to have a nervous breakdown but i know like i got to pull myself together because I have a child. You know what I'm saying? So it's like whatever is happening internally with me it's like I'm trying to suppress it because I'm just like I can't have this breakdown or whatever it is. But I feel like all this shit was triggered to my goddamn whatever that I'm going through with my menstrual cycle. Because now that I'm taking um, the depot, like, I'm starting to feel like me. So, I do feel like I got some type of hormone imbalance that is triggering something. But, like, this cycle, and I guess because I started it right when my cycle started, like, <clears throat> this cycle is not painful. It started out painful when I went, but the pain has gone away. Um, my cycle right now has been very, very light. But outside of that, like, the hormone imbalance that I feel like I was having, like, I really feel like me. Because all these other days of me <laughs> talking about going to work, it's just like, why? Why do I have to go? I do not want to go to this damn job. And nobody's bothering me. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's bothering me at work. I mean, the people get on my nerves that call there, but it's not to the point of where I'm just like, it's do or die. Um, so, yeah, I feel a lot better, and I wish I would have went to my OB. Well, not my personal OB one, because I told you guys in the early part of the vlog, I ended up seeing a different doctor, so... I wish I would have went sooner so I could have 
gotten this handled sooner. So today's not gonna be a good brow day because <laughs> I put my skin stuff on first, which is what I normally don't do for this particular reason because my pencil just glides better on dry ashy skin. So it takes a while. But it is what it is. On Mondays, it's really only just me, my supervisor, and one other person. They be in the office child, so anybody seeing me. Well, I got a kid any day one way, so it is what it is. By the time I pull the rest of my face together, it'll be it'll be okay. So but yeah, I just want to give you guys an update on the birth control. Because when I tell y'all, like, I didn't want to do anything, like, nothing. Like, not a thing. Um, nothing. Like, I didn't feel like cooking. Um, it was days that, like, I didn't eat nothing all day. Um... It was like I was just in the same spot all day. And then it was a time frame for like two weeks where I was just door dashing um, for like two weeks straight just so Brown had something to eat because I ain't, like I didn't want to cook. I didn't want to do nothing, y'all. When I said I didn't want to do anything, nothing. And I'm just like, Tasha, this is not you. This is not you. This is not you. I don't know what's going on. And I was still making YouTube videos. My eyes watering. I was still making YouTube videos like during that time in May. This is a um where a lot of that was happening. Um, so it's like I feel like <clears throat> that <laughs> I'm probably a high functioning uh depressive person where like, I can still do my day to day things and keep on moving like there's nothing wrong Oops. but there are times where it's like oh my god i feel like i'm about to have a nervous breakdown probably because i'm high functioning so i'm just like something's going on with me and i can't figure out what the fuck it is and then when i started having these hat flashes and then I went to go look up some other symptoms I was having. All of it fell under like that perimenopause, like the anxiety that I was having, um, feeling loss of oneself, um, the flashing, the periods. Um, I was like, okay, this is what's probably happening with me. And I'm just like, okay. But like I was saying, I was kind of conflicted about going to the doctor because I just feel like, like I said in the earlier part of the vlog, that sometimes we're just not heard. Because my next result was going to be me switching to a, a male physician because I feel like male OBGYNs, you know, you would think that a woman would be more uh, empathetic to you because they're a woman and, or is it sympathetic? Whichever one. You would think that they would be that because they're a woman and they know what it's like and they probably gone through it or going through it or know that it will happen. And you would think that they would be more of your advocate, you know what I'm saying? But it'd be like the female doctors, we the, wor the worst women. <laughs> it's like, girl, are you not a girl too? But I feel like the male doctors, because they don't go through it, you know what I'm saying? They ain't got time to be saying trying to do all this extra stuff. Like, what you think? What you what you want to do? <laughs> you want to do birth control? You want to get a hysterectomy? Come on. Let's do it. So, like, that was going to be my next result is, like, me getting a male physician and seeing. Because I've had male physicians before, and I thought like I got better results with male doctors. So, but I'm so happy that I feel like me like my energy is back because like my energy was like really really low like 
y'all <laughs> i was over here like really going through it okay so and i want to say probably like day two um after me having the injection is when i was like okay i feel like me like 100 percent, i feel like me and today it's like i really feel like me so we're gonna have a good day i'm gonna claim it i'm gonna go ahead and finish my face i'm gonna come back to you guys um probably when i figure out what i'm gonna wear i'm gonna finish my face come back and do my lippy i'm gonna eat first if i haven't eaten yet um which i don't well i think i'm gonna make a breakfast sandwich real quick turkey sausage and um egg and on a week then so I'm gonna make my breakfast I want to make some chai tea but I want to <laughs> lay off the chai tea for today but then at the same time I want iced coffee so anyway I'm gonna make my breakfast come back to you guys when it's time to put on whatever I'm, I'm aware <laughs> <laughs> and um then i'm gonna take y'all with me to get set up at work and then i'll probably check in with you guys midday so see y'all later okay you guys so this is what the jumpsuit looks like on from banana republic i have it in an extra large and it has pleating and as you guys can see it cinches in at the waist all these buttons are snap buttons okay all the way down this one is kind of like that diagonal so this is what it looks like if you wear it all the way closed up so i love the versatility and how you can play around with the neckline you guys know that i love pleating especially for my apple shaped girls because it draws the attention away from your midsection and i just went ahead and added my mules from sheen because it's supposed to rain today here in the dmv and it has pockets which the pockets go diagonal you guys know that i love that for us for the apple shaped girlies because it gives the illusion of a hip and this is what it looks like from the back so i always have my measurements in the description box so check that out to see if an extra large would be the good size will be the size for you they also have it in a khaki color as well i will say that this is not tall girl friendly because i have it cuffed up but uncuffed it comes to my ankle exactly and i'm five three so i would say five five is the max that this can go and my scent of the day is dolce and gabbana the one okay so and i just have on my regular necklace that i always show you guys mixed with my um tear necklace just to have like some chunky jewelry and my watch and the earrings that we just got from h&m so i will link the jumpsuit and the earrings down below you guys are seeing the jumpsuit first in the vlog okay so y'all one more spin and I'm gonna just throw on my MCM crossbody because like that's my everyday bag. <laughs> I'm not changing no bag. So let's get ready to go to work. Bye y'all. Okay you guys, so I need to take something for lunch. Um, I think I'm gonna do this chicken salad, which I got from, um, what is it called? Walmart. So the rotisserie chicken salad is so good. Um, it comes in this tub and it comes in cups, just like a four pack. So I'm gonna take one of these and I'm gonna take my sparkling water. I'm gonna take my other thing of um, pink pineapples. I'm gonna get some crackers to go with my chicken salad and I'm gonna take two bottles of regular water okay so we're out of crackers but I feel like I just bought crackers all right so two bottles of water my sparkling water for flavor and acid um the rice crispy chips chicken salad pink pineapple 
that's what I'm gonna take with me. And I'm putting it all in this Target bag, okay? <laughs> the Black Folk lunch bag. The baby. I ain't got time for a real lunch box for one day a week. So, that's that. I'm putting this in my work bag. Take the air out. And that is what we're gonna do for lunch. Our Uber is on the way. So I will see y'all when we get to the office. Bye. Your boy got the full body do rag out. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing since he slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck a night, I keep the guala in my shorty bag. You know she want a mind when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy. She love the toys. Keep it coming, you a rider. It's that roll myself a day and count my figure shit It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit If I catch you knocking off, then it's gon' be some shit Well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spin what you wanna Be who you wanna be We all stutter Till I D.I.E. I just run it up before I go Would you tell the world my secrets if I let you flow? Feel my face, send action These days no cool my age, niggas be past it Living in the middle, this shit might drive you mad In a pretty middle, fuck this life shit ain't all bad Bloody blood and murder, there ain't no second chance Switch to Mondays now? Mm -mm. No, it's just for uh, the new Oh, what you trying to mm -hmm. Me and Adrian on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then I'm doing some for the more Tuesdays and Thursdays. You only, you only come in on Wednesdays. Okay. You only come in on <laughs> Okay, you guys. Adriana is here. You guys have not seen Adriana since Christmas. I didn't know that she was going to be here today. This is normally not her day in office. But she's such a model employee. <laughs> yeah, right. She's training people. We're going to lunch. Even though I ate my little chicken salad. I'm technically not hungry. But I'm going to just go to go. Who is that man? He look crazy. Hi. That mother. Hurry up and give me in this car because... <laughs> <laughs> oh, why am I thinking this is your car? Well, it's just this little one. Though. Um, so we're going to Royal Farms to see what we can see, and I'll be back. Everybody's like doing good things and mm -hmm. blessing us with everything. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. So, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So. You know, so, when they need me, I'll be there. You know that. You're getting a slushy? No. Ice. Where so. the... Okay, y'all. So, full circle moment. <laughs> we are home, okay? So, I'm about to pin my hair up. Take my makeup off. And, um... I'll find something to watch on TV. My Zara stuff came. I just tried everything on. Which, I really just got a bunch of tops 
from Zara, to be honest with y'all. Um, and I got like a cropped blazer. And I got a cropped satin bomber jacket. And um, that's some knit, like two knit tops that I can wear now. But they will also transition to the fall. Um, and then you guys already seen <laughs> the jumpsuit from Banana Republic. I told you guys H&M is here. The only thing I'm waiting for right now is the um, Abercrombie and Fitch jeans, which I think they're going to be here tomorrow or Thursday. And then the Tory Burch shoes, I think, is what's coming tomorrow. Um, so I'm thinking about just doing like a real big collective haul because all the pieces can be styled up together and that's one of the things that i do when i shop like i make outfits so i might just do one big collective haul and um do it like that so for styling purposes you guys can really see it better and then i wanted to style up that jumpsuit a couple of different ways because it's really versatile um, for the fall, I plan on doing it with my white slouchy boots or I can do my chunky boots. I can do my black patent leather boots. I can do it with my mules. Like, I can do it with sneakers. So, I'm going to give you guys like a couple different looks with that jumpsuit. But I got a lot of compliments on that jumpsuit today. Like, a lot of people have really liked that on me at work. So... That was that, uh, but I had a really good day at work. Um, like I said, that depot shot is the best thing that I could have done for myself. Um, I had no pain, I haven't had any pain since I took the shot. Well, on Friday, because I was coming on as I was getting the shot, so Friday I had took some medicine, but Saturday I was fine, Sunday I was fine, today I was fine, and my flow was really, really light. Like, I don't know what I was writing on. <laughs> so, and like I was telling my mom today, I was like, I feel like me. Like, so I had a really good day. Um, and before I looked up, I was like, damn, it's 4.30. <laughs> it's time to go home. So, I am going to wash my face take a shower and find me something to watch on TV. I'm not hungry because I end up, when I went with Adriana, if you guys, I don't know, I may put the clip in, I may not put the clip in. We end up going to Royal Farms, which is on the corner of our job and because she hasn't seen me in so long and she was the one that wanted me to go with her, then she bought me, um, like a little chicken box from Royal Farm. So I ended up eating that when I thought I wasn't hungry. But clearly I was. But I ended up snacking, like, picking on that throughout the rest of the day. Because I went to lunch at, like, 12. And I ended up finishing that, like, around 3 o'clock. Like, 3, 3 30. So I'm not hungry. But I need to drink some more water. Because I only drank that one bottle of water. I always try not to use a bathroom at work because... I hate the bathroom at my job. Like the seats are so low and the toilet paper is so thin. Um, and then I had that jumpsuit on. So I'm like, baby, I ain't got time. So, yeah, but it was good seeing her. I don't see y'all what else happened, y'all. So if y'all remember, if y'all looked at the clip where I was in my desk just minding my business and then this girl just came out of nowhere. And so, um, I'm not gonna say her name, but I like to call her the 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 uh work Barbie. Okay, meaning like she's super friendly, like she tries to be friendly with everybody, right? And so Adrian had told her about me. I want to say like last year, like how long we've known each other, and blah 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 blah. And so 
the way that the conversation went, Adriana thought that her and I, that the other, this other coworker, that her and I had some type of relationship when really we don't. Okay. Um, like we've only probably talked <laughs> at work probably maybe like two times and, and both of them times was work related. Like, <laughs> so she had ended up calling me one day just like on some key key type of shit on the work phone. And I'm saying like, why is she calling me? You know what I'm saying? And um, she, when she was telling me, I was told Adrian, I don't know why you got this girl calling me. <laughs> so then when she see me, she want Kiki all the time. So she came to my desk. And let me tell y'all, <laughs> like I'm still PMSing, but <laughs> I'm not in pain. Because let me tell y'all how I fucked up and I can't even keep my composure. If I wasn't on my prayer, I probably would have played it a little different. So she's talking to me about, you know, the people that's coming in the office and stuff now. Yada, yada, yada. So she was like, guess who come in the office now on Wednesdays? And I was like, who? Don't even know why I even in the same question because I don't talk to nobody at this motherfucking job. <laughs> okay. And the one person that I really did like for real, for real like Adrian is my, um, I don't even got to explain that. But the other person that I really like, she's gone. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even know why I even in the same asking who you know what i'm saying so i was like who so she was like um shantae come in the office now on wednesdays y'all i can't even hold my composure as soon as she was like shantae come on come in on the way come in on wednesdays i was like why are you telling me i don't fuck with her <laughs> i'm saying like oh my god why Tasha, why <laughs> Like that shit just rolled off my motherfucking tongue. When I say my face was turned up, when she was like, Sean, take him in on Wednesday. I was like, why? I was like, why are you telling me? <laughs> yeah. So all that she kept coming over to my desk, like, there's nothing that y'all can do to fix it. Like, y'all seem like y'all was so cool. Cause I remember, like, I used to see y'all hanging with each other and da 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 da. I was like, girl, no. <laughs> okay next <laughs> but I was like why did I um why did I do that <laughs> why did I do that because I, like, I don't me and her me and Shantae like we haven't seen each other physically since the last time me and her was like together like on some friend type of shit um and I want to say I've only talked to her one time maybe twice at work since um this incident happened between her and I for something work related and um it was doing two times was like closest at a time where it was fresh you know what I'm saying so her and I we don't talk to each other we don't see each other there's no need for us to really communicate even when it comes to work type of stuff so <laughs> It's really, I was like, out of mind for real. But I'm like, why did I sit up there and make that facial expression and then say, uh, okay, I don't know what work. <laughs> so, Joe, we'll see what happens because I don't know if she's the type of person to run her mouth and she'd be like, girl, Tom, she was here the other day and I was like, girl, guess who coming here on Wednesdays when I mention your name? And she was like, I don't fuck with you. <laughs> but, I mean, it is what it is. I already did it now. <laughs> I'm saying, what can she do? But say something to me or say something back to her or, uh, uh, I mean, it is what it is at this point. But, <laughs> I'm like, I was like, let me tell them what I did. And I was talking about shit all day. I'm like, I told them what the fuck I did. I'm saying, like, Tasha, you and your motherfucking PMS. <laughs> if I wasn't on, I probably wouldn't have even made no face or made no type of indication, no nothing. She mentioned this other lady name to that. I don't care about her either, but I was like, oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I was saying, like, Tasha, why are you just saying, um, put your poker face on? That's the one thing about I don't have a poker face. Um, so like I, I, it may be a story time. <laughs> Hopefully, she just keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, she don't instigate this shit. But if she do, then hey, I started it because <laughs> I didn't have to do that. <laughs> I did not have to do that. So I will see y'all 
in the styling video. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to have that up. I probably don't even do that till Saturday. I'm gonna have to get up early Saturday and do all the things. Cause um after work I don't see it. And then I'm gonna start a whole nother vlog. Um because I'm going to try to do the zoo and the mall. Because the H&M stuff is going back. Like I told y'all in the early part of this vlog. Like all that stuff was a fail. Except for. Um, really stuff with like two things for real. So. All that stuff going back. Um, everything that I got from Zara is cool. So. And then I'm also thinking about going back and ordering the tan jumpsuit from Banana because I was going to get both of them. But I was like, no, nah, let me just get one and see how I um how I like it. And the jumpsuit, I'm going to go into more detail about it in that video, but it's more like a tailored fit. Like, the jumpsuit fits me perfectly. Like, I cannot gain a pound. Okay. I mean, I have room in it or whatever, but like that part in the mid section, like that part is kind of tailored. Like it's not a free flowing jumpsuit and it's being cinched by the, um, by the tie waist. Like that part is already cinched without the belt there. So I can't gain an ounce of weight. So, um, but I like the fit. I feel like if I go up to a double XL, well, the, the, the double XL is not even available in the black, but it's available in the, the tan one. So I feel like if I go up to a double XL in the tan, that um, it's probably going to be too much volume. Well, I already have volume in the black one. So, yeah, but it's, it's pretty much like a perfect fit for you guys if you're interested in getting the jumpsuit. But anyway, I'm rambling. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all.